Moto Options Contact Settings So Moto Theme is awesome. Not only because it offers you lots of amazing templates to design the best WordPress site possible, but also because it has all the features that you would need on a fully functional site. In this video, we are going to talk about the contact features for your site. Contact features are important because they are what will allow your visitors to get in touch with you at any moment. To add and edit contact features to your Moto Theme site, go to the Moto Options tab on the left side menu on your dashboard and click on Contact Settings. The first thing that you will notice is that the Contact Settings section is divided into three different subsections. Let's start on the Contact Settings subsection. In this section, you will be able to edit the information on your contact page of your site. The first setting is the Google Map API key, where you have to insert your Google Map API key in order to show the physical address of your business on your contact page. You can find your Google Map API key by clicking on the Google Map API key link. You will be redirected to a Google Developer page. Click on Get a Key. Now enter a name for your Google Map project. Select Yes. And click on Create and Enable API. Now you're all set. Copy your new API key and click on Finish. Now go back to Moto Options and paste your Google Maps API key in the corresponding field to finish this step. Let's proceed with the other options. In the Email Receiving Address field, you have to enter the email address where you want to receive contact emails sent by visitors. In the Success Message field, you will have to enter a message to show it to your visitors when they successfully send you a message. You can either leave the placeholder message as default or enter a more personalized message. In the Email From address, you have to enter an email address to show as your From address to show to people contacting you through your site's contact form. This can be a different address from the one that you use to receive contact emails. In the Mail Subject field, you have to enter a subject line for your automatic support response emails. We recommend you to personalize this line because otherwise it will be sent as the default Inquiry Moto subject line. In the Contact No field, you have to enter your contact phone number. Remember to edit this to your business phone number to avoid showing this placeholder number. Now, in Form Setting, you will be able to select which personal information fields to include in your contact form. You can use the Enable box to select which to include and the Disable box to select which ones to leave out of your contact form. You can drag and drop these information fields between boxes to make your selections the easy way. And you can arrange them in the Enable box to have them in your preferred order. In Required field, you can select which information fields are required to fill your contact forms and which ones are not required. The Require box is for placing the ones that are required and the Not Require is for those not required. You can drag and drop them between boxes here as well. Let's save these changes and move on to the Contact Form Label subsection. Here, you will be able to enter the names of the individual information required in your contact forms. Here you can enter your form's name label, email label, phone number label, subject label, and your message label on their respective fields. Remember to save your changes after editing your info here. Let's now go to the Contact Form Placeholder subsection. Here, you'll be able to enter the placeholder text for each one of your contact form fields. You can enter personalized placeholder text in Name Placeholder, Email Placeholder, Phone Number Placeholder, Subject Placeholder, Subject Line Placeholder, and Button Text. We recommend you to always check your new placeholder text before saving your changes in order to avoid showing incorrect placeholder text in your contact forms. Great! This is how you edit your contact form information with amazing features available on the Moto Options section. Remember that you can easily check the amazing changes that you have just made to your site by going to a different browser window and typing your site's URL or by going to your WordPress blog name tab on top of your dashboard and clicking on Visit Site. Go to the contact page and see for yourself how cool it looks now that you've modified it using Modal Theme.